let's take a quick look at how to get images into a cell using formulas. So let's start off with the filter formula. And so let's go ahead equals filter. We'll go to the tab where we have those images, select the column with images, comma, we'll go to our reference column here that we're going to use from our drop down, hit enter, and there we go. And so now if we select this option, we'll see the relevant image populate automatically in that cell. All right, so next let's look at VLOOKUP. So equals VLOOKUP. We're going to use this cell here for our reference point, come over to our images, and then we just want to select these two columns. And so this is our reference column and then our image column, comma, two, because it's in the second column. So if this is more over, just count the number of columns starting in this first column. And then when you find your image column, that will be the one that you would enter here for your column index. And then finally, we're going to do false for exact match. And there we go. And again, if we change this, you can see that image updates automatically. All right. And then next we have XLOOKUP. And this is very similar to VLOOKUP. And so again, we'll use this drop down option here. Go over to our images. In this case, we'll select our column that we're looking in to match here, comma, our column to return. So instead of counting, we just select those columns individually and then hit enter. And there we go. And again, this works just like that. All right. So finally, you're going to throw in this index match here. And so the index match, what we do is index and then we can select a reference range. And so that would be our image range here. And then for our match, we're going to match this squirrel drop down and then come over here to our types. And then we're going to do zero for exact match. And then we can go ahead and close it out just like that. And now this one works just like that, same as the rest. All right, and finally, let's take a look at query. So query, we have this formula in here, but it's not pulling anything back because query does not support images. So all these other formulas do support bringing an image back into that cell. However, query does not. All right, and so to finish this up, let's take a quick look at what if you have a URL link instead of the actual image in the cell. And so all you do in this case, and so that is in cell C as an example here, all you have to do is whatever formula you're using, put that inside of a image formula here, hit enter, and there we go. Now, one thing when you do this is you will have to one time, you'll have to allow access. And it's because it's trying to access this link, right? Which is a website. So once you do allow access, then this will work. And now you can see that image just like that. All right, so that's it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.